Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, it's time for some more trail camera footage. <laughs> hey, I, I must admit, this has been a very interesting series out here at Mother Beaver Dam number two. Well, I guess we could say the whole entire creek that Mother Beaver Dam number two is in. But anyway, oh boy, this is us heading out there the day after. And so... You guys, I hope you saw the video before this, <laughs> because if you did, then you know what we're about to encounter. But we are going to see on the trail camera how the beavers rebuilt it in this trail camera footage. All right. So stick around and uh, <laughs> let's see what these beavers were up to this time. All right, you guys, so it looks like we have triggered the trail camera before leaving that night. It's been a while since we've done that, but it's all good. At least we can see what it looks like before those old beavers build it back up. And once again, I've been playing with the with the 12 hour, 24 time. I set it back to the 12 hour time this time. The time is right, but the AM PM is wrong. <laughs> so we have to keep that in mind as we're watching. All right, let's see what these beavers on steroids are up to. Wow, you guys, 32 minutes later, we got a beaver pushing mud already. Hey, we weren't long gone, man. I probably was still sitting in my Tahoe taking videos off the, <laughs> off the GoPro. <laughs> oh, man, that is crazy. I wonder if we were to sit out there and wait around if it would come out. I doubt it because we'd be out there stinking and they would smell my stinkiness. <laughs> yeah, their, uh, their beaver den must be super close for them to be coming back and rebuilding that quick, you guys. This is a pretty cool uh, angle, though, huh? We can actually see out into the water a little bit. But uh, I don't like to see them working so hard. They're working too hard, you guys. They're making us work too hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can see him coming from deep, huh? Looks like he got a branch there. Oh, and he's off already. Wait a minute, you guys. Did the trail camera take a nap on us? It's a whole hour and some change later. You can't be doing that trail camera. We got to watch the beavers every move. <laughs> Man, look at all that stuff they done brought up. And we missed it all. Oh, they moving swiftly on us, you guys. Wait a hot minute. What is going on here, you guys? Almost two hours later? Look what they've got rebuilt, man. All oh, these beavers are getting slick on us, you guys. <laughs> Almost another two hours later, and look what they rebuilt. And this joker here just floating around in the camera like, look what I've done. Oh, wait, what is he doing? We see you back there. You ain't going to get away this time. He must be coming with some mud. Mm-hmm. These beavers trying to get slick on us, you guys. Wait a minute. One hour later, again, look at all of that stuff there you got. Look at that big stick. How did that get there? And we didn't see one molecule of an ounce of a piece of footage of him moving it there. What is going on, man?
Oh, wait a minute. I didn't see them coming over there from the left. They coming in from all angles, you guys. Oh, boy. Here we go. We're getting double teamed. Joke has done brought in a whole boatload of debris and we ain't see one second of it. <laughs> Looking around. Yeah, you got a mess out there. A plum mess. Shaking my head. Mm, I don't even know what to say, you guys. They're mastering their stealth abilities. Uh-huh, we see you way back there. Boy, these beavers are good. Do you see the difference from this clip and last clip? My goodness. I see two of them swimming around out there. I mean, they got sticks dangling right in front of the camera. Oh, here comes one. Man, that, look at the size difference. That one right there is big, you guys. I see some eyes coming over there to the right, you guys. 
Oh, snap. Wait a minute. Man, they coming from all angles, you guys. Again, oh, he caught me off guard. Why do they always do that? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Whole family putting in work. Look at that. Great day from Zion. This is why we have such a problem trying to win against these beavers. Oh, now it wants to catch him, huh? Up close in person, huh? Wait, 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 no way, no how, how in the world you got it. They brought that big piece of wood over to the right and, and we didn't see that? Let me remind you how big that piece of wood is. Look at this right here. You guys, look at this right here. Man. I don't understand it, you guys. Not one bit. I am confounded. <laughs> Ah, so we have some daytime footage here at the trail camera, you guys. It's been a while since we've had some daytime trail camera footage. I wonder what set it off. But anyway, I was just thinking, hey, we hadn't seen the raccoons in a while, have we? Y'all think the beavers are running them off so they can get back to rebuilding immediately? <laughs> hey, truth is, though, raccoons don't have no time to walk around out there, do they? Them beavers, they rebuild so quick nowadays, they don't even make no sense, man. Great day. But anyway, I guess I'm going to get ready and wrap this video on up, you guys. Hey, y'all know I had to make the end of the video look like we're victorious, even though we know they're going to come back and rebuild instantaneously. <laughs> but anyway, I'm about to wrap this video on up, you guys. 
You know, I was thinking back on earlier how the beavers were coming in at every angle. And I got to thinking about scripture, man. You know, the Bible says, let God arise and our enemies be scattered. There's a scripture that says the Lord will conquer your enemies when they attack you. They will attack you from one direction, but they will scatter from you in seven. And I tell you what, hey, the beavers is hitting us from all angles, you guys. <laughs> they hitting us from all angles. And in this natural sense, they are winning. <laughs> but in the spiritual sense, when we uh, look at our lives as believers, especially in this day and time that we're living in, you guys, as believers, it's time for us to take a stand in what we believe. It's time for us to take a stand in what the word of God says. If we take a stand for what the word of God says, we know that God is for us and he's more than the whole world against us. It may seem like the enemy is winning, but if we continue to stand in faith, if we can uh, continue to stand on the word, then we can trust and believe that we will come out victorious. Why? Because God is a man that he cannot lie, neither the son of man that he must repent. So believers, let us continue to stand on God's word. Let us continue to stand upon our Holy Spirit convictions, because I promise you this, the Holy Spirit will never lead us wrong. All right. I know, I know I got to preach in there a little bit, but it's needed. <laughs> it is needed. But you guys, we're definitely going to continue to war against these beavers. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got to give up after a while, right? <laughs> it's not going to be us. We're going to remain persistent, consistent, and we're going to give them a run. For the money. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. Hey, don't forget to smash that like button for us. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Throw a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's on your mind if you're enjoying this series, man. Hey, we putting some work in, you guys. I'm trying to tell you, man. But anyway, in the meantime, in between time, while the beavers are building up, <laughs> you guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. I think that right there should work. That's a pretty good field of view there. And it's, it's off to the distance so the light can shine out. Cause they usually build about right here. We gonna try it there, you guys, all right? <laughs>